A creative update to the electric guitar had Peter Friedman of Rode Microphones buzzing. I really believe the Fusion guys are onto something special with this. A beautiful guitar, an amplifier, uh, everything to do modelling, and all updatable with the effects on an Apple iPhone. You can't get better than that. <laughs> Well, this is the world's first fully portable electric guitar. You notice there's no cables, there's no amplifier. Everything's built in. You have an amp volume control here for an inbuilt amplifier. And we have speakers up here. And the really special bit, there's an iPhone dock on the top. We have different docks for different phones, interchangeable. With the iOS app here, this is an amplifier simulation of a basement amp. So you have all your normal controls. You have any effects that you want to put in there. It's everything a busker needs. You just take the guitar along, Switch it on, and away you go. So, Sergey, there's a lot of work to get an idea right through to a finalised product. How did you get on board to work with that? One thing was it was very avant-garde in its styling. It was kind of out there. We changed the styling a little bit, made it a bit more user-friendly, a bit more approachable, a bit more like a traditional guitar. One of the first things that, that you do um, with the styling is it's, it's great to have sketches on paper and on screen, but it's not until it really becomes a 3D type of a, a model that you, you get to feel for it. This is one of the very first ones, and you can, can see... You the look and feel of how it's going to happen? Absolutely. Apps and technology aside, the question is, is this a good guitar to play? Gun for Hire Brett Kingman has played with James Rain, Tina Turner and Daryl Braithwaite. If there's anyone that knows if this guitar cuts it, it's this guy. So much fun. So what do you think, Brett? I think it's an extremely clever marriage of traditional and new technology and so it therefore deserves to be classed as a new instrument because it's got the speakers, which are really good, and a built-in amplifier. It's got standard old-school uh, outputs if you want to just run it into an amp. It feels really good. It's balanced well. You know, it's just good fun. Technology is opening up a whole world of possibilities for existing products and giving them a new lease on life. But technology on its own is not enough. It takes innovators like those behind Fusion Guitar to really take those dreams and make them a reality. Our next innovation was designed by Peter Friedman's company, so he sits out of the discussion. It's a new tool in the evolution of entertainment, as Ben Cooper of Tricky Jigsaw explains. This is not an immersive 360 degree experience, but this is. We're moving into a world of AR and VR, and it's all about getting closer to the experience. The thing is, if the sound's not right, it's not gonna point you in the right direction. So this is how you're gonna control the narrative. Ever sat in the cinema and heard that surround sound chopper fly over? It's a real 3D effect. Imagine if you could do that yourself. Let's play with sound. So you're holding in your hands the Rode uh, VideoMic Pro Plus, and what I've got here is the Stereo VideoMic Pro. Now, together these two microphones cover a lot of the applications, but they don't cover surround sound applications. So what we're looking at is how can we combine both of these microphones in one but how do we also add that surround capability to the microphone as well? And so, is that what we're seeing here? Yeah, so what we've got here is the Rode VideoMic sound field. Now, this microphone is designed to pick up everything around the microphone, but we can also endlessly shape the audio in post-production. We make all of our products right here in Sydney, Australia, and what that means is that we've got our machinery just metres away, and it means that we can be much more agile in our designing. This is the Rode anechoic chamber. An anechoic chamber is designed to cancel out all reflections that come out from a sound source without bouncing back. So this is it? This is it. This is the Rode VideoMic sound field. She's tiny. It is. It's a, it's a very compact setup for, for what this microphone does. And so what are we seeing? There's microphones going four different ways. So this is called a tetrahedral capsule array. So now we need to test it. I've got an idea. With our software here, I can actually change the direction that you're listening to. Oh, wow. The sound is moving around me. Exactly. I can see it. So I can make it wider, 
I can make it more narrow, I can solo separate channels. So from this one microphone, I can create a 5.1 surround sound mix like you'd listen to in a home theater. But where it really gets cool is the future applications of VR and 360 video. That's magic, let's do some more. You are so There's many measures of innovation, but what I think is quite interesting with this one is that sausages were the measure. When you look at this barbecue, there's nothing radically different about it, and I think that's where the revolution lies. This is solar-powered, this is autonomous, and this is invisible innovation, and I think it's really exciting. There's nothing we love more in Australia than having a barbecue on a hot, sunny day. What if I told you that we could use the sun to power a barbecue? It's been about 20 years of blood, sweat and tears, but it's uh, finally come to a fruition. This is actually a power station. There's enough power in here to run a small house. With solar on the roof, battery storage, we could have lighting in the shelter and we could run park lighting. All of that could be run off this one power plant. But it doesn't feel like a solar structure. The solar panels are all hidden. Again, it just feels like any other park barbecue. We design it that way just to prevent vandalism. If people can't see it, they're not going to steal it. We looked at electric barbecues as to how much power they actually used. It was horrendous, impossible to do with solar. So we totally redesigned the plate using battery voltages instead of mains power. It would cost in the vicinity $150,000 to get power. Just to run power here? Just to run yeah. power. So the installation of this is a fraction of the cost? Oh, the, the whole building, everything is a fraction of the, the whole car, the whole, whole thing here wouldn't cost that. This is actually the barbecue heating element. Now, the key difference is that we use a continuous piece of nickel chrome wire, which means that we do not have to insulate the element. So if you've ever seen something like your toaster, where you basically look inside... It turns yeah, on straight away. It turns right? on immediately, it gets red hot. And does it get hot enough to cook a nice steak? <laughs> Let loose, it'll run at over 400 degrees centigrade. Well, I've got to cut that back to 320, otherwise we'd be charring people's food and sausages for right. sure. This is something you really have to see to believe. It ticks every box for good design. It's safe, it's simple, and it's sustainable. Forget that old saying, cooking with gas. This is cooking with sunshine. <laughs>